a quick look at this uh, flow test rig we got here. So that this is our uh, VSR high speed. Uh, what you got is you just got your standard turbine housing connected with a V-band there. Um, simulates exhaust flow with high pressure, high volume air. Uh, we're doing all these tests at 170 pounds. Um, you got your oil feed and drain just like you would on the car. Uh, you got your mass airflow connected to the inlet of the turbo. Uh, that just runs to a 120 to 12 volt adapter um, because the sensor needs 12 volts DC and then of course the signal output is going to the um, to the volt meter here so essentially when you run air through the sensor um, it outputs the same signal it would to an ECU uh, we're just grabbing the voltage and then we convert it into a flow number um, let's do a pull here so we'll uh, drain this down to one 70, which was where we're doing all these tests. About right there. Let this settle because that moves some, some air through it. Usually settles at about 0 0.79, 0 0.8 volts. There it is. Alright, let's run her up. What? Oh, I almost forgot to turn the oil on. We would have quickly destroyed that. Turbo, so there we go. We'll fly. Now she's full of oil pressure. Let's go. That's about what we've been seeing on the GC Plus wheel uh, between 479 and 483 when we did an average, uh, came out to. 483 because we had a couple of the runs um, that were slightly higher, so it's exactly what we've been seeing. This is actually a really repeatable test here. Um, we have been able to do these runs over and over and get within um, you know, one, two, three tenths of a volt every time. Um, so we're, uh, this is one of the reasons why we chose this particular. Um, machine because you could not only balance on it but you could easily convert it into a flow test rig to test different compressor wheels, um, compressor housings, things of that nature. So, alright.